fifty dollars. Half a Benjamin. One Ulysses S. Grant. This is approximately how much I made my first month on YouTube as a monetized Fallout Let's Player. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is James and this is We Who Survived. And on this channel, I do more or less modded Fallout Let's Plays. So I don't want to get totally stuck in that niche forever, but it's a good niche and I love it. So for right now, I'm riding it out, having fun with Fallout Frost, Fallout Lost World, and even modding New Vegas. So... Um, that's the type of content I make, which puts me squarely in the gaming category. And as you can see here from my analytics, this is the past 28 days and they're estimating I've made approximately $50, $49.96. And this is a little misleading because these views include short views. So that's probably like 10 times the regular video views I have. But anyway, let's get into the specifics of my monetization. So if we come over here to the revenue tab and I put it out for 90 days, it makes most of the statistics inaccurate, unfortunately, but it does show you correctly that total I've made about 5828 because there was a few days at the end of March I was monetized because March 27th was my first official day of monetization, which was only for a few hours. I got, it was like eight o'clock at night. And then uh, 28th and 29th, I was still actually throwing ads on things and figuring out what I was doing. Uh, and then, yeah, I would say really the 29th or the 30th would be my first real day of, of monetization and having videos with ads on them. So over this time, which we can cut down to 28 days, it's almost a square $50, $49.96. So this is my first month. I have 1,488 subs, as we can see in the overview as of right now. 26,000 views in the last 48 hours, almost all of which are coming from shorts, uh, which is why I'm doubling down on those heavy. As you can see down here, uh, the first episode of Lost World and the second to latest episode of Lost World, the Kellogg episode, are also on here, but they are way down here. So speaking of that, we can come here and we can see the approximate split of how this revenue goes. So. I can actually see my RPM, which is how much I'm being paid. So there's CPM, which is the cost basis for the advertiser. And then there's RPM, which is the revenue I'm actually making per 1000 video views. And this is saying for my 16,000 video views in the last 28 days, I make on average $2 and 28 cents per 1000 views after YouTube takes their 45% cut and everything else. And then for shorts over here, we can see the same thing, which is I've made 150,000 views and on average, those will grant me nine cents per 150,000 views, which is what gets us the total of 1337, which is really only about a third of the video, despite having almost 10 times the views, but it's like over 20 times less RPM. So you make way less off shorts, but they do bring a lot of people to the channel and just as well they seem to actually convert to long form and you do make some money before shorts and before shorts monetization i would only be having the video so i'm i'm looking at this as a bonus rather than something to get upset about now interestingly if we come down here we get a little bit more of a breakdown and we can see specifically where it's coming from so on videos $30 of that total is coming from ads and about $6 is coming from YouTube premium watch time and on the short you have a much bigger discrepancy with uh, ads only accounting for about 11 and a half and then $2 coming from YouTube premium so if we come over here right next to it at top earning content we can hit see more and this will show us some interesting statistics so there's a estimated revenue which goes per video and then there's the watch page breakdown, uh, the number of monetized playbacks and then I don't know why premium is over here. It should be over here so you can compare, but there's premium and then more importantly what we're interested in is the CPM. So this will break down your video CPM and as you can see it does vary per video. So some videos on average are only like six bucks for a advertiser to put an add-on per thousand views but then some of them actually are are a little more expensive like nine dollars ten dollars i mean 929 we have 870 966 and i'm pretty sure like i said i've seen one of these was like 1010 or something like that uh and these statistics that's for the last 28 days 
if we go to 90, those that have actually been out, let me see. Yeah, that'll, that'll only go for the views that count. So you can see a lot of it's pretty much the same, but that will change seasonally. Oh my, look at this, 499. Okay, not much. But yeah, as I was starting to say, that will change seasonally as well. So CPM is partially determined on your video type, which I am a gaming channel. So that's like pretty much the lowest cost to advertise on, unfortunately. And um, then there's also the seasonality. So you'll see this increase a lot more around the holiday time, like November and December when we're going into the shopping season. CPMs start to get a lot higher. And now we can move over to specific videos. There's one more thing I would like to discuss, which is how I got to this amount of money. So I am starting to change things up a little bit to the point where this is a 25 minute video. And on this video, I did place two advertisements. So I think 25 to 30 minutes, I'm gonna do maybe two per video, but pretty much anything under, I'm trying to stick to just one advertisement per video. Although I do allow them before and after as well. So I guess that's like potentially three ads per video. But if we come over here to the editor, once again, for this video, you'll see this video, which is only 21 minutes. I have one single ad about eight minutes in. So I could be, theoretically earning a lot more already than that base $50, but YouTube is a little bit crazy. And let me show you what I mean. So when I do my ad break, which is at a good point, and it's sort of a good point to also throw in the ad, I try to do it like television where it creates suspense or it just makes sense. Um, here is what YouTube does. Oh, well, this normally doesn't happen, but let's see what they come up with. Okay, here we go. So this is a 26 minute video and this is about how YouTube would have it if it placed the ads automatically. Got an ad at 3.30, 6.46, 10 minutes, 15.12, there's a good five minutes, four minutes, and then seven minutes. So yeah, throughout this 26 minute video, you'd get one, two, three, four, five ads. Never mind, there's a guaranteed six ad at the end of the video. Uh, and then you may or may not get one before. So that's like seven advertisements potentially for 26 minutes of content, which seems a little excessive to me. That could potentially mean say three to five times as much money, uh, which would make that $50 more like 250 to $350 or something like that maybe, uh, cause it could even be seven times as high, but I don't think that would quite be the case and that seems a little obnoxious so while i would like the extra revenue i'm not sure it's worth it to my viewers to have more than one or two ads per video um but i guess let me know what you think about that down below and if i should be throwing more on or if even the one is already too much for you um and i guess that's probably about all i'm going to share i could go over general analytics but there's really not too much to go over, not too much to discuss. I'm sort of balls deep in some series, so that is what it is. And I think that's where we're gonna wrap the video up. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your time and I hope to see you again in a future video.